calls for justice ringing out tonight. The family of Jordell Richardson held a community memorial and procession for him. This 14 year old was shot and killed by Aurora police this month. Police say Jordell was involved in a robbery, refused commands to put a gun down. This is video of the foot chase before officers tackled him. Now the gun Richardson had was later determined to be a pellet gun. The boy's family demanding answers after today's funeral. Denver 7's Daniel Croyder was there as dozens marched with the hearse carrying Jordell's body. Well, we can stand the clouds, we can stand the rain, but we can't stand any more bullets. Dozens of supporters walked alongside the body of 14 year old Jordell Richardson as a procession marched with a hearse. His funeral was today. I have to look at pictures, watch old videos to remember my son. His mother says she is broken after an Aurora police officer shot and killed Richardson as he was running away from an alleged robbery. Whatever went on that day, it was not a death sentence. It should not have been a death sentence. The family says Aurora police waited days before they released to the public that the gun officers found on Richardson was not real. It was a BB gun replica. People ask, well, why does it matter? Because does it make sense that a 14 year old boy who is surrendering to the police, not fighting them, never touches the replica weapon, is reaching for a gun? No. As the shooting is investigated, his family is left heartbroken. He was such a beautiful soul. All he wanted to do was play basketball, finish school, and make my mom proud. And a community is fed up. It's essential that we show support in as many numbers as we can. The family is grieving. We don't deserve it. We will not get justice. Justice is Jordell walking through his mother's front door. Justice is Jordell growing old enough to beat his brother in basketball. We will not get justice, but what we can get is accountability. I did reach out to the Aurora Police Department to see if they had a response to the family's concerns about how the department was releasing information about this case. APD tells me since the shooting is still under investigation, they can't comment. Reporting in Aurora, I'm Danielle Croyder, Denver 7.